Hello and welcome to another tutorial with UC QuickBooks Training. Today we're going to discuss how to record a transaction for when an owner has paid for a bill for the business or purchased office supplies or paid for the credit card statement of the business. So we're going to go ahead and discuss and it's a two, two transactions, two parts to this transaction. Uh, first of all, depending on the way your business is structured, whether you're a sole proprietorship, partnership, or corporation, your equity accounts here will be uh, displayed differently. The sample business account is a corporation. Now, a sole proprietor cannot borrow from the business because he is the business. It's, you know, the IRS sees him as the entity. So, for him, he would be using owner's draw or owner's contribution. In this case, if he paid for a bill for the business, it would be an owner contribution. Okay, so let's say this owner paid for a bill of the business and he wants to get reimbursed back. I'm going to first record the payment of the bill. So I'm going to do that right now. And let's say he paid for these materials. Okay, I'm going to pay this bill. And I'm going to use the cash account. Just to reconcile and just so you can see, you can name it something different. You can uh, name it owner payments, but make sure it is a bank account. Um, this account should be zero or the balance should be zero at all times. You want to make sure that it's reconciled at all times. In this case, I'm just going to use the cash account. The owner paid cash and he wants to get reimbursed. So I'm going to select pay selected bills. I'm going to click OK. I'm done paying the bill. Now, if you look at my chart of accounts, it's showing a negative on an asset bank account. So right away, we know we need to adjust this. And this is where the second part of it comes in. I have created a liability account here. Um, it says pay to owner because he actually wants to get reimbursed. Now, if it was a sole proprietor, it would probably be in, in the equity account and it would be called owner contribution. Okay, so let's do a journal entry. I'm going to say cash, 2500, owner paid for materials. Paid, let's uh, say paid to owner, okay? And I'm going to save and close. And as you can see, the cash account is now at zero. It is paid, but now we have a liability to the owner to reimburse him for what he paid. So I'm going to write a check. Owner. Click add. And it's going to be for $2,500 for materials. And then we're going to select that pay to owner account. And there you go. The pay to owner has been paid. And that is how you record this type of transaction when the owner pays for something for the business. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to visit our website at ecquickbookstraining.com. Thank you.